Yes, regular Gorilla Glue can be used to glue your shoe back together. Uh, it's effective. I've done it before. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is. Uh, these were a semi-old pair. They literally came off most of it. I just tore the rest off. The trick to using Gorilla Glue is the glue itself and water. It gets activated by water. Most people forget to use this step of the process, but all I've done is apply glue to the outside rim of this shoe. As you can see, nice little helping. And then this part is just gonna go sit right in there. And then we're gonna bind it together. I'm gonna strap it down with some shoelace. Uh, you know, other items you can use tape, but I don't wanna ruin the, the shoe itself. So I've already applied the glue. Next step is to spray the, uh, the underside of this. All right, we don't need to soak it, just a nice spray. That's it. That should be enough. And then this gets placed right down in there. It's perfect. Make sure you get the tips. That's just some water that goes on like that. Luckily, I didn't overdo it with the glue, so it's not spilling out over the sides. I have made that mistake before, but we do need to make sure we put some pressure on there. All right, so we just need to clamp it down now. And since this tip can give it a little trouble, I'm gonna use this giant paper clip. Hold that part down and see that pressure there. Hopefully that's coming through. And that'll hold that in place. And then for the rest, the back I use shoelaces. And they're probably better things to use, but all I could think of and this were handy. Oh, I don't want to create the bend, but I do want some pressure. Heel, it's an important part. We're going to leave this to dry for at least 48 hours. And just so you know, you could pay upwards of $12 for this, <laughs> uh, which maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not, but it definitely works. if you want to try it on your own. All right, there it is. Clear glue bonds virtually with everything from wood, stone, metal, ceramic, foam, glass, and more, uh, leather included, and plastic, um, and rubber. 
Um, like I said, I'm going to leave it for 48 hours. You can definitely uh, leave it for longer if you like. This says uh, clamp objects together for two hours. Uh, full cure in 24 hours. I'm recommending 48 hours just for oh, making sure. Um, all right, we'll come back in 48 hours and see what we got. Okay, I'm back. It's been over just over 48 hours. Uh, time for the big reveal. Um, I've already kind of tested it, but let's see officially. And uh, while I'm undoing this, so just to tell you how I got into this uh, situation, I have glued sh a, a shoe before. In fact, I think it was the other one. Uh, the, the mate to this shoe. And, um, but anyway, this one, it was clearly off. I went into the shoe store to, uh, to get my taps done. Now, one of the ways I uh, keep, uh, keep my shoes in pretty good conditions, believe it or not, these are from 2006, uh, Banana Republic. They're made in Italy, uh, but as you can see, but um, don't feel bad for me. <laughs> I have plenty of shoes, um, <laughs> some newer, uh, maybe more shoes than some women, but um, some of them are, like these, some of them are uh, like you know Hugo Boss. Some of them are um, Steve Madden. Anyway, um, I had been in there to the shoe store previously. They did a great job of putting this plastic piece onto uh, my Hugo Boss. But the shoe lady uh, or the lady that was taking my order refused to put the taps on these. You see where she started marking it because. I ended up not wanting to glue it with them. I asked her how much it would be. She quoted me $12 just to do that glue. Now, you guys just watch me do that in about three to four minutes. And if you do the math, that works out to uh, basically $180 an hour, right? Four minutes, $12. And that requires absolutely no skill. Now, you know, something like this, I understand. This, this requires skill and there's actually some, you know, uh, rubber here and whatever. To do that glue job that you just saw, there's no uh, materials or just very cheap for glue, and that's not a special skill. So the idea of paying $180, I kind of balked at it. Not that I couldn't afford it, but I, I knew I could do it myself. Um, and that's where we are today. And you'll see I'm using quite a bit of force. And this will pop back out, by the way. It's all good. This. I'm pu pushing on it. You can see my thumb turning white because I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. It's not coming off. And you can see how well that came out. I do have to go back there. <laughs> now I can go back and ask for my taps, which are $2 each, by the way. It's $2 for this, $2 for that. And that even that requires a little bit more skill. So that's, that's you know, $4.00. And uh, that takes longer to do than the glue job, or more skill at least. So I, th I think she was totally unjustified. You can tell you what you think, but anyway. Um, so yeah, these came out just fine with my Gorilla Glue. So I gotta go back there and hide my smug face when I show her that I did it myself because she didn't think I could. And um, yes, that's it. Very easy to do. Gorilla Glue, get yourself some because it works on just about everything. Um, remember the key is to use the water that's what activates it you do need to clamp whatever you're uh, gluing down usually um, that definitely helps part of their recommendations so if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you found this at all helpful please do give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more subscribe down below look at that not coming apart beautiful that'll last me all right thanks for joining me